sometimes simplicity is key. And so, fitting with these fragrances, I'm going to keep this intro very simple. These are my unaveraged thoughts. What's going on, everybody? Joe here, back with a quick take, just some thoughts. You know, I've been trying some fragrances, working on getting some reviews for you all, and just figured I'd give a quick take while I'm getting ready to head to Daytona this week. Um, on two Aqua de Palma fragrances that I've gotten a chance to try. One of them being a name that I really cannot pronounce, but it's a part of their blue. And then the other being one of their newer releases called Sandolo, which is a part of their Colonia Intensa line, which is similar to fragrances like Colonia Intensa, Oud, Leather, Ombre, which I believe that's the ambergris one. And they have a few other fragrances, but this one is based off of, you guessed it, sandalwood. So let's get into these really quick. Up first for this one. Basically, this is going to be kind of in your same lane of Prada Infusion Dome. Um, a little bit even like Prada Loam in which you're gonna start with this really bright opening of mandarin, citrus, mostly mandarin top that has a little bit of a semi-floral opening with that mandarin. And then after about five minutes, it really starts to open up a lot of the spices and herbs that are in this fragrance end up coming in and uh, becomes a little bit more floral, not as bright citrus. I was getting notes of mandarin, jasmine, cardamom, a little bit of like rosemary, patchouli, and it gets a little musky after a while too, but that also is because of that jasmine. It kind of tends to leave like a musky accord of sorts and I have to say I really did not enjoy this one as much as some will. I know some people really like Prada Infusion Dome. I don't mind it. It's just not really that super clean, soapy, you know, white floral vibe when it's just that not necessarily anything, you know, deep or resinous behind it. It's not really my thing. It is clean. It is definitely a good fragrance. It lasted on me a good four hours. So this is something when you have a quick meeting at work or a quick outdoor summer spring outing that you got to get to or want to go to. This is good for that. This is something that is, I wouldn't say safe because of like that musk and jasmine. And it just doesn't work with everybody's skin. But if that's your vibe, this could definitely work for you. And when I wore this, it didn't really garner me any compliments, but that could have just been because I was kind of uncomfortable wearing it. Again, like that super clean vibe that doesn't necessarily work for me. I mean that, I might as well have just taken a shower and not worn any fragrance at all. That's just kind of how I feel about the clean scents in general. Mugler Cologne, Infusion Dome, um, Aqua Universalis Forte. Although I kind of like it, I really don't. And this falls into line with that. Not really a fan of this. Worth trying if you're into that thing. 
but not really my personal favorite. Up next, we have Sandolo. Um, by the way, I said Colonia Intensa collection before. I'm sorry. It's actually their ingredient collection. I really like this. And I like their Aqua de Palma Oud. Their leather was good. Ombre Ambergris fragrance. Fresh. Not really anything else. But solid on the ambergris freshness accord good job but this right here i'd love to get a bottle of this is perfect for the spring and the fall you could use this as a signature scent in the winter and even an indoor summer night type of fragrance not so much a club necessarily but just actual outing summer parties or just different things where it's a smaller, maybe like an office party at a lounge, maybe more so office dinners, definitely perfect for the, that situation. And it's crazy because these two fragrances have similar accords that constantly run into each other. And just the execution is different, which is part of the reason why I wanted to do this video. But anyways, let me stop talking. Bergamot, orange, cardamom, sandalwood, amber, and I got like a hint of herbally vibe going on, but those were some of the more dominant notes that I ended up getting. Um, can't really remember if I said sandalwood. I should have because it's in the name. And you all probably knew that. But just in case, sandalwood also. This was really good. I was able to get similar performance to this. Kind of like Aqua de Palma's Oud. Um, nine hours with five projecting at a moderate two and a half, three foot bubble. This is something that stayed present, but never had to shout to make its presence, if you understand what I'm saying. This was very, very enjoyable. And I am surprised people don't talk about this more. I mean, it's newer, I get it. But people should be talking about this. I know I've seen like maybe one or two reviews on YouTube. Not that I've watched the reviews, but I've seen one or two other people review it. So it is slowly getting a build, but this is definitely worth trying. I believe they sell this at Bloomingdale's. Is that where I got this? Yeah, I got this sample at Bloomingdale's or even your Saks, Neiman Marcus, check it out to go ahead and get your nose on this because this is a really good fragrance. This is a little bit more, well, I'd say they're both mature just because of the whole Italian vibe of it. Italian fragrances tend to be a little bit more mature for the 24 and up, 22 and up. This one though definitely is a for a person who has their stuff together at the age of at least 22, if not definitely 25. You could maybe even get away with this on a second date. Wouldn't necessarily recommend the first date because the first date you want to be playful and you know something safe. You know, not really that this isn't safe, but a little bit more just playful, sexy, da da da. Now this is for when you're a little bit more intimate, show a little bit more depth to yourself. You could go ahead and pull this off. Office settings, great. Casual, it's okay. This kind of, especially with the price tag, I think the price tag is almost $250 or something like that. 
I wouldn't necessarily recommend it just for casual use, but if you got the money or really love the fragrance, then go ahead and splurge and buy this. But yeah, this was definitely a standout winner. Ah, I know the note I didn't remember to say. It was not sandalwood. It was tonka bean. How did I forget tonka bean? Tonka bean, amber, sandalwood, citrus, amber, kind of herbally, cardamom. Really good stuff. So there are my thoughts on those two fragrances. Have you tried either fragrance? Um, what are some of your favorites from Aqua de Palma? Have you even really tried any of their ingredient collection? You know, the ambergris fragrance or leather, oud. They have a whole bunch now, much more than what they used to. Um, so let me know in the comments down below and let me know if you're even interested in trying any of these. Really, if you just have anything to say at all, leave it in the comments down below and I will respond. Thank you all for watching. I have to get ready to pack. My name's Joe. I'll see you all later.